Let's meet Sam Altman, the person behind OpenAI's exciting creation, ChatGPT. A little while back, he was in charge of a money investment company. Now he's leading OpenAI, a famous tech company. When ChatGPT came out in November, things changed big time. It quickly became super popular with 100 million users in just two months. This made businesses and politics around the world look different. People started to use AI to cut down on employees because of ChatGPT. Investors got really excited about special AI that can make stuff, which made the tech world grow a lot in 2023. But this also caused trouble in creative jobs like making movies. The people who write and act in movies went on strike because of worries about AI, among other reasons. The big tech companies raced to make new and strong products. At the same time, people like artists, writers, doctors, and students began using ChatGPT to get more work done. This AI excitement also made everyone talk about rules. People who know a lot about this tech talked about how to make sure it's used safely. Even politicians tried to understand it before making rules for it. Sam Altman had an interesting life and career path. He started by making small programs for phones. Later, he helped give money to new tech companies. He was friends with important people like Elon Musk and even got on Forbes' list of young people doing cool things. Altman grew up in Chicago and loved computers. He learned to make them do things when he was really young. When he was a teenager, he told people he was gay, and the internet helped him a lot. He went to a school in St. Louis where he made a big change by being open about himself. Altman went to a university in California to study computers, but he left early to make a company with his friends. Their first idea, an app called Looped, didn't work so well. It was supposed to help people share where they were, but not many people liked it. Even though Loop didn't succeed, Altman got more important jobs later. Altman switched to giving money to other new companies. He became the head of a place called Y Combinator, which gave money to startups like Airbnb and Dropbox. After some time, he left Y Combinator to focus on OpenAI, a company with a big goal. OpenAI started as a nonprofit group in 2015. It was made by big names in the tech world, including Elon Musk and Altman. They wanted to make sure AI is safe and helpful. OpenAI changed over time and got a lot of money from Microsoft. Um, we learned early on that we were going to need far more capital than we were able to raise as a nonprofit. Um, our nonprofit is still fully in charge. There is a subsidiary capped profit so that our investors and employees can earn a certain fixed return. And then beyond that, Everything else flows to the nonprofit. And the nonprofit is like in voting control, lets us make a bunch of non standard decisions, um, can cancel equity, can do a whole bunch of other things, can let us merge with another org, um, protects us from making decisions that are not in any like shareholder's interest. Uh, so I think it's a structure that has been important to a lot of the decisions we've made. OpenAI's dream is to make AI that's even smarter than people. This idea made many people think about how to make sure it's not dangerous. Altman said that rules from governments are important to keep AI safe. He talked about this in front of important people in the government. Altman is trying to make AI that's super smart, but he's also looking at other things. He started a new company called WorldCoin that uses AI and digital money. They want to give money to everyone, especially when many jobs are done by machines. But some people worry that this company isn't respectful of people's privacy. Sam Altman's life journey, from being curious about computers as a kid to leading a big AI company, has made a big impact. The AI he's working on, like ChatGPT, is changing how we live and think. It's making people talk about rules and safety. Sam Altman's story shows how much one person can shape the world of technology. So, that's a wrap-up of today's video. If you found it informative, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.